The 295, NATO codenamed Bear, was the principal long range bomber of the Soviet Air Force during the Cold War. It is the only turboprop bomber to have ever been deployed in military service. The 295 Bear was perhaps the most successful bomber produced by the Soviet aviation, enjoying long service in a variety of roles and configurations. It was the only bomber deployed by any country to use turboprop engines, which provided extraordinarily long endurance at speeds only slightly less than comparable turbojet-powered heavy bombers. Few aircraft are as distinctive as the massive Tupolev Tu-95 Bear, a four-engine Russian strategic bomber and maritime patrol plane with a gigantic unicorn-like refueling probe, giving it the appearance of a monstrosity lurching in from prehistoric times, or at least from shortly after World War II, as is in fact the case. Development of the Tupolev Tu-95 intercontinental bomber began in the early 1950s, after series production of the medium-range Tupolev Tu-4 started. Initially, several designs were considered, including a modification of the Tupolev Tu-4 and production of a new aircraft with piston engines. Prototypes of these aircraft were developed and tested from 1949 through 1951. It was concluded that bombers with piston engines could not provide adequate performance for the intercontinental attack mission. In March 1951 development of the Tupolev Tu-4 intercontinental jet bomber began. However, KB Tupolev did not support the development of a bomber with turbojet engines, believing that the proposed AM3 jet engines would not provide for the required range of more than 10,000 kilometers. As an alternative, KB Tupolev proposed an aircraft with four turboprop engines that would provide a range of more than 13,000 kilometers and speeds of more than 800 kilometers per hour at altitudes of 10,000 meters. The design of the wings drew heavily on the experience gathered by Tupolev and the Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, or also called SAGI, during the development of the swept wing Tupolev Tu 16. The wings of the 95 were swept back at an angle of 35 degrees, allowing the placement of a large bomb bay behind of the torsion box of the wing's central unit at the aircraft's center of gravity. The aircraft is powered by four Samara Kuznetsov NK-12 MP turboprop engines each rated at 11,033 kilowatts. The engines are fitted with eight-bladed contrarotating propellers type AV-60N, of diameter 5.6 meter. 
The engines drive 8 GSR 18,000N generators for Type 12 SAM 55 accumulator batteries which provide DC power. AC power is provided by converters and four engine-driven AC generators. A gas turbine auxiliary power unit is installed in the dorsal fin. The cockpit accommodates a pilot and co-pilot. The forward compartment immediately behind the flight deck accommodates four or five crew members. The TU-95 houses a large bomb bay at the center of gravity of the aircraft, which is immediately aft of the wing's central torsion box. The 295 Bear is capable of carrying six KH-55 Granat nuclear-armed long-range cruise missiles with a range of 3,000 kilometers. The missiles are mounted on a catapult launch drum in the bomb bay. The aircraft is equipped with a weather radar, a navigation and bombing radar, and a gun fire control radar. The low probability of intercept observer navigation and bombing radar, NATO designation clam pipe, is installed under the nose section. The clam pipe radar has synthetic aperture radar mapping capability. The PRS-4 box tail warning and gun fire control radar is installed at the base of the rudder. Infrared sensors of the MAC-UT IR sensor missile approach warning system are installed under the nose sections and on the top surface of the fuselage above the wings.